Hey everybody, how's it going? So, this is something new. This is Planet Zoo and not Planet Coaster. But don't worry, Planet Coaster is going to be coming back sooner than you may think. So, please have that in mind before you rush to that unsub button. Now, I did just want to do something different though. I wanted to do a manor garden. And because Zoo has got weather, better plants and also the ability to have walkthrough exhibit animals, this seemed like the perfect game to use. Now, it has also been a very long time since I played this game. And I've got no idea what I'm doing. But I'm sure we're going to have some fun. So, let's get started. Alright then, you guys, it's a little bit of a hot mess, but this is the official birth of Tinyani Gardens. Welcome aboard. And so, the name, by the way, completely made up, just like Plumple Pop was over on uh, Chachalandia. I've got no idea what it means. I've Googled it. It's nothing offensive in a foreign language. We're good to go. Uh, and guys, I'm going to set your expectations on this now. This is not a zoo. This is not going to be a zoo. So we're not going to have expensive animals. We're not going to have uh, any kind of extravagant exhibits or anything like that. This is a manor park. It's going to have a central lake which i've not put in yet uh, i think there's going to be a ride i haven't quite worked out how it's going to go but like i say there's going to be a central lake there's going to be a path that goes around it and uh, we're going to have some walk through exhibit animals you know like the peacocks and whatever because there would be nature natural animals and stuff going around here so you'll be forgiven if you live in the uk particularly around the alton towers area of uh thinking that this is looking familiar and it very much so it's based on trentham gardens in stoke on trent so i went up there for my birthday uh, absolutely fell in love with it straight away and was instantly enamoured by it. It's this idea of a shopping village with this uh, manor park that you can just pay to go into and walk around and it's a beautiful, beautiful walk. So I wanted to do something similar and I've chosen Planet Zoo because of all of the ambience that you've got. So, you know, you've got weather and we've got better effects, we've got better planters and stuff. Anyway, so let's show you around. So, you've essentially got this massive car park here, um, and I've just started the process of detailing this out and putting this down. Of course, this needs a lot of detail. I'm just place, putting placeholders in. Uh, this will eventually be a Bergs. Um, and guys, also, just let you know, none of the, this isn't all going to be finished in this episode, so please don't get your hopes up. Uh, I'll talk you through what we're going to do in a minute. Uh, so, this is going to be a Bergs. Eventually, it's going to be a restaurant. This is going to be a bit of a patio area. Uh, I'm going to have a seating area and everything. This is where you'd park all of your cars. There's no priority parking or anything like that. That is just grab a space wherever you can. Um, and I didn't want a grand entrance. I don't want that. Uh, I just wanted it to bleed into this shopping area. And so we've got a bit of a park uh, like style walkway going along here. I'm going to do some landscaping and trees and stuff all along here to make it look to make it look awesome. And then of course at the back of these buildings I'm going to need to detail out um, all of like the, the facilities and stuff uh, that are going to go on. So you're going to expect all of that normal detail that you're going to have. Typical British weather, it's raining. <laughs> Standard. Um, and then I've just put the pathway all around here. Uh, I've started this one here. This is where your disabled parking is going to be. Uh, and this roundabout here here is going to take you around the back of the estate and that's where all of our star facilities and everything are going to be because uh, obviously we are still playing planet zoo so we still need things like quarantine and the vet's office and all of that so that's all going to be backstage over there so let's have a, a look at these so this shopping village if you ever if you google trentham gardens you'll see what i mean all of the all of the buildings in trentham gardens they are cookie cutter plop and place sheds right they are these beautiful buildings, uh, architectural built, architecturally sound buildings uh, that contain shops and contain all sorts of things. So you've got cafes and shops and restaurants and you name it, you can find it. It's all typical like activities outside. So this is what we're going for here. This is what I want in, in this area. Um, I'm going to, and you, this is why you're seeing like I've duplicated buildings. So I'm going to flesh all of these out with the with the outside, and I'm going to cookie cutter them across. And then in the middle here, you'll have things like planters for flowers and stuff. Uh, this is going to be more souvenirs and whatever. Probably an information office, actually. Uh, and then we've just got some more stuff going on here again. Need to flesh out the buildings. This is going to be a, a bit of, a, I think, a restaurant where we're going to have a bit of a seating area out here. This is the main entrance into the main part of Tignani Gardens. So this is where you would eventually pay, or essentially pay your entrance fee. And the actual gardens itself is separate from the shopping village. So the shopping village you can essentially uh, visit for free. But if you want to go into the gardens, then you pay an entrance fee and go through here. And there'll be a small cafe in here as well. I don't know if I'm going to link these two, actually. I don't know if they're going to be this part of the same building or not. I haven't decided. Uh, and then over here, I'm keeping this bit clear. I don't know what's going to come in here. Uh, but, of course, there's more shopping around here. 
And then we've got some more stuff. Uh, sorry, we've got another path that's coming, uh, coming in this way. So I've just put down this little river. Uh, if you can see it through the rain. <laughs> so I just put down this river uh, that's along here. This is like a, a boundary, so it's to stop people from running over. This is a, a direct rip of Trentham Gardens. This is like shamefully ripped off. And then of course we're gonna have the main path and then we're gonna have the lake. So that's gonna come in the future. I don't know how that's, how that's gonna be. Right, so that's probably a bit boring for you, right? For the first bit, but you know how this works. We do this, we do this in stages. So I'm gonna carry on working on the buildings and hopefully I'll have something a little bit better to show you in a mo. Here we go then you guys, it's coming together quite nicely, lots to show you in this update and I noticed in the last one that Planet Zoo is a really quiet game so I've actually put some music in, I just hope it doesn't get copyright claimed because you know, Planet Coaster does. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I've also put a habitat on the back here uh, just to make sure that the guest AI is working as it was. A couple of challenges uh, and I've had to turn some of the sandbox settings on which forces guests to not leave because they sort of get to this point and turn around and go home because they get bored. <laughs> so I need to sort that out for the final uh, for the final release but there's not much going on in here uh, anyway so yeah this is Tinyani Gardens this is exactly as I wanted so all of the buildings that you see in here uh, there's eight or nine different variants but they're all essentially styled exactly the same way so uh, I've got all of the DLCs in this uh, game by the way so just that's that's a thing to, to bear in mind and the Australian wood is perfect for what I wanted here this idea of the shed I would have otherwise used the either the Arctic wood or the uh, the, the logs that come in the game but ultimately these are just the the panels uh, and then I've created uh, some windows some custom windows in here with the glass panels and these are just the beams that, that come in the game beams uh, that come in the game and uh, and then I've just started to decorate the outside so I wanted a bit of a, a rustic feel going on and a couple of lamps and everything and Trentham Gardens uses hanging baskets quite a lot in this one so this is what we're doing uh, in Tignani Gardens. So over to this one, this is another variant. This would essentially be th either th uh, one shop with three entrances or three separate shops. The idea is that you could come inside here and you could put a partition wall up and uh, be done with it, right? And you could rent out the, th the space as three or you could rent it out as one big one. I don't know what's gonna happen with these yet. I haven't quite decided how the uh, how the shops and stuff are, are going to work out. But the, the design principle on this is exactly the same, right? So you've got the Australian wood, uh, you've got the panelling along here, you've just got the beams and everything that go uh, into the ceiling, uh, and then the custom the custom windows that, that go in here. And of course, there's going to be a lot more detail that goes on on the outside once we know what's on the inside, because you're going to have shop signs, and you're going to have all sorts of uh, merchandise and everything hanging around and, and, and that sort of stuff. So uh, that's what we're going for in here. And then I have just lined off the roofing and everything with these uh, with these trim panels as well, just to uh, just to give it a bit of sense. And then out the back, I've started to kit out some of the backstage areas. Uh, now in Trentham Gardens, these are just on display. They are not hidden in any way, shape, or form. You can literally walk past all of this stuff. It's not fenced off or anything. So that's the vibe that I'm going for here. You can walk along the river past all of the service facilities and the back of house facilities and everything, and and, and it's fine. You know, you're not going to injure yourself you're not going to die this isn't planet coaster this isn't uh don't die fencing and, and everything and i've done that here too so um i've i've put a couple of things from the workshop and i need to grab the the credits and everything and I'll, I'll i'll leave them in the description or whatever but these bins are amazing uh so you we've just got different bins for different purposes and this is the kind of thing that you see at trentham gardens hidden behind a fence with just on plain display <laughs> it's really like yeah what <laughs> So anyway, so we've done that building, we've done that building. This is another variant of this of a, a similar building. This one does have a partition in it. It's in here. Uh, like I say, the insides I haven't really touched, but I'm starting to think about how the insides are going to look. So uh, we've got the, the beams and everything that are going on in here. I don't know if I'm going to cover the inside of these roofs yet to make it uh, actual wooden or whether I'm going to keep them as slate. It feels like I probably should as a tomorrow decision. Um, it's fine. Uh, and then this is the idea that I had with uh, all of the hanging baskets on the outside. So this rustic lighting that's going on and the hanging baskets. baskets. And then I've just got the concrete that's around the outside. I just wanted it to feel a little bit like unfinished, almost like they'd plonked this shed on a concrete panel. Uh, it actually serves a couple of purposes. It serves more to hide this path thing and everything that's going on here. And then we've just got guttering all along this side as well. So um, I actually need to fix the positioning of this building because it's clipping. Uh, but yeah, you've got this guttering that's going along. So it's the design is obviously to catch the rain as it and it falls down and, and stuff. 
So that's uh, that's another variant of the building. This is a more restaurant based building. So it's got loads of openings. It's got one here, one here, one here, uh, one on the side and then one at the back as well. And then the idea is that you're going to be able to have seating and everything that's coming along here. So you can sit by the river, uh, grab your food, sit by the river. Uh, again, it's nothing inside yet. Uh, all empty inside, but it's the same. It's that same design. It's that same consistent design with the beams and everything uh, on the ceiling. Like I say, loads of touching up that needs to be done on this. By the way, um, as you already know. Oh, I don't know if it's about to snow or something because it's gone quite foggy. I, lo I love this game when it snows. Like I just sit and watch this game. It's, it's amazing. Um, right. So next variant of building is this one here. Uh, it's just a bit more of a, a shed inspired, but again, it's exactly the same design. It's lots of paneling uh, going on vertically and horizontally, uh, and the hanging baskets and, and all of that sort of stuff. So and then in here, I don't know what's going to come in here. Like I say, no idea. Uh, but it's a slightly different design of roof beam going on here so i wanted to have a little bit of a, a variation going on uh, so yeah different uh, different roof beams and, and everything in here uh, we've seen this variant right we've done this yeah that's the one with the partition uh, we've done this one that's the one that's in three <laughs> this is another one then uh, i haven't done the concrete and everything on, on here yet uh, and i've got something to show you in a moment which is quite exciting it gives you a little bit of a uh, an idea this by the way come on guys who's signed off on this seriously Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's what it is. Um, so yeah, this this would be like a, a another instance where you could either partition it off and have it as three separate shops, or you could use it as, as one single shop. And then around the back, uh, we've I've just put in some uh, some toilets, which I'm going to show you those in a moment because it's going to give you an idea of the level of detail that I'm going for uh, in the game. Uh, we've done that one, and we've done. I think we've seen all of the variants of the buildings now. Um, so yeah, so this is how it's looking from the top. Uh, so we've got the, the four car park areas. So you've got one main car park here, 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 and then you've got a little one that's coming in here. Uh, I've just moved all of the entrances so that um, I'm actually going to walk through the car park, through the garden area and, and everything, uh, and come into the main the main shopping area. And then the plan, as I said, is to have the lake at the back and then uh, the bridge over the, over the top uh, over here. But there's one thing that I have done and fully kitted out to show you because none of the park builds that I've been doing would be complete. A chacho toilet. <laughs> That's right. A chacho toilet. There we go. Come on. Uh, camera is not as friendly as Planet Coasters, is it? There we go. So these uh, sinks, they've come from the workshop as well. And again, I need to find out uh, and remember who it was Um I've forgotten to, to write it down. But ultimately, the toilets are all kitted out inside here, right? As I would do in Planet Coaster. So you've got all of the sinks along the side. You've got vending machines and some decorations and stuff. And then you've just got the, uh, the, the stalls and everything. Now, we don't have actual toilets and stuff in here. So we're on a little bit limited. And I really miss Desk B, by the way. Really, really miss Desk B. <laughs> um, so I've just used the art shapes and everything on here just to create the uh, just create the stool doors. Uh, and then I've done the same over this side. And again, we don't, I don't have the facility to stop people clipping through the walls. We don't have barriers and stuff. So it is what it is. But from the outside, uh, I've just decorated it out. This would be the kind of decoration that you would see. We don't have zebras in Trentham Gardens and you wouldn't have zebras, but you'd still have zebra print or lion print or some kind of animal print going on because it's just the rustic nature of, of the thing that you're building, right? So, uh, yeah. So that gives you an idea of the level of detail that I am going to be going for inside the buildings. Now, in terms of wrapping up this episode i ha i don't know whether to do the inside of the buildings or whether to make the area look pretty so i've left it open to a poll now i wonder what one oh this game is so beautiful when it snows look at it and guys it's time for that bit that i already know you've skipped to because the analytics have told me so uh, 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 naughty naughty <laughs> it's the final update and guys i'm at that point where i've kind of run out of time so i'm happy with what we've got for episode one uh, and episode two of course is going to be the kitting out of all of the uh, shops and everything so i put this to the poll and you guys actually said you'd rather see a beautifully decorated area inverted commas beautifully a decorated area rather than the shops themselves let me just uh rejig the snow again um there we go so let's show you around let's see what we have got 
So this is <laughs> this is Tin Yardy Gardens in the snow, right? <laughs> it's great. Uh, so all I've done here is I have uh, started the process of putting all of the plants and everything down. Now I am not a plant expert. I can tell you where your gift shop could go. I could tell you what banking your roller coaster needs to be, but I cannot tell you what plants you should use. <laughs> so. No, 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 no. Don't listen to me. I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> but even still, uh, I've used my observational powers and I've used my landscaping powers. Like I've, I live near a lake, so I've, I've used a lot of the cues and everything from around there. So all of these beautiful lush colours um, are all in here. So I started to put all of these flower beds down and I started to put respite areas as well where people can sit down and just chill out and everything. Um, of course, we've got ourselves our sign. So there's the Tinyani Gardens sign. Um, and I've just started to put extra flower beds in front of the other shops as well. And this is going to come to life even more when the shops are actually functional. Because at the moment, as you can see inside, they're just concrete shells, right? So Nothing to see in here, uh, but on the outside, I just started to do all of the all of the flowers, and I've mixed the colours that I tend to see near the lake near me, uh, and the the types of flowers and everything. So I know that I'm on a at least a realistic palette, even if I can't tell you why. <laughs> so uh, coming along here, nothing's changed with the buildings. Um, just wanted to show you this this sight line now that we've got trees and everything in because it's now starting to get a little, little bit of depth um this central piece i found these weeping willows and they're beautiful they're just so 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 lovely oh they're just perfect um and i've also started this process of, of putting flowers in pots and, and stuff around and as i said there's going to be loads more to come in the next episode because these shops will come to life. I'm just putting these down as, as placeholders at the moment. But we've got ourselves a little picnic area here. So I just wanted to have a, a slight picnic area. You know, the people are going to be coming out of this shop, sit in this alleyway. <laughs> it's a horrible alleyway, actually. I wouldn't want to sit there. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got this bit here. This is another respite. Uh, of course, we need to keep the thoroughfare or the throughfare uh, clear. So I didn't want to bulk up too much with benches and bins and stuff and of course we're, we're driving traffic through these areas so that's what we're doing here uh lots of again flower beds different colors different sights different smells uh, different textures if if you wanted to go up and uh touch the flowers and stuff then you can perfectly safe to do then of course we've got all of the planters that are all along the the buildings and then uh, we come over here and we've got ourselves another little area restaurant area so I put some b uh, benches around and some uh, bins and whatever. And because we're playing Planet Zoo and it, the guests, I, I know I can turn it off in the sandbox mode, but I don't want to. Uh, and the guests are demanding education. So we put in these education boards around. Uh, and I think that's actually the secret to them leaving the entrance. When, the, when they, the AI makes them turn around, they need to interact with something before they decide to turn around. So that's what I'm doing here. These education boards. Uh, where shall I take you next? Let's go. Let's ignore uh, ignore this bit. That's just making the game do its thing. That's not gonna, that's not permanent. That's going to be our ticket office for actual Tinyani Gardens. Um, I'm just making sure that guests are behaving properly. So we've come down here. Uh, you're just going to walk through the bench. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> so carrying on this idea, uh, and then we've got um, this little feature here. Now this appears to have gone a little bit wrong. <laughs> Because they're now trapped. <laughs> oh, it's fun, fun spot all over again. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to have a rock feature in the middle with some benches around the outside. I might change this when, when the area comes to life. It's, it is what it is. Uh, and then over by the toilets, I've put another secret area for uh, picnics and everything. Picnic benches to put in. The idea of this area is just to have as many picnic benches and stuff going on as, as you possibly can, right? Because people want to enjoy themselves in this in this space. So that's, that's what we're doing here. And then this way, obviously, is going to be shops, uh, more shops. So this is the back end. Oh, it's snowing again. I'm just going to actually force this to not snow. I know I love the snow, but I'm going to have to force it to not snow i'm afraid because i'm showing you around uh, so this is the back end so in uh, trentham gardens this is actually the river trent and so what i've done here is i've put loads and loads of reeds and this bit here particularly is is very wooded um and then in the back area of there i've just put all of the backstage stuff so we've got some tea crates and some uh 
pallets and stuff that are all down here. And then a couple of picnic benches because guests can walk down here and they can sit by the river. And again, it's inspired by Trentham Gardens. It's really strange that you can just sit backstage and nobody even notices or cares because you can go and sit by the river. So that's what I've done there. Uh, and then coming down this way, I've just continued uh, the idea of using the reeds and everything just to, to bulk out the bed. Now, I haven't done too much decorating along here, and I will do. Uh, and that's because I need to get rid of the water to continue the river when I come over, right? So I'm not doing too much here. This bit's really come to life. Uh, I love this bit. So this is the seating area at the back of what will, will be uh, the main restaurant of the of the whole shopping village uh, and again i've just put loads of like foliage and stuff in here to cast shadows and loads of reeds and everything so you can see like de from down here on the water line you can just grab yourself some food sit next to uh, the river and just listen to all of the nature and listen to the water lapping at the landscape and everything it's just going to be the most awesome place to awesome place to sit and if you think that this side as well you're going to see uh, all of the foliage and the lake and everything it's going to be a really good viewing uh, viewing point and then of course we're going to carry on this way same principle here a couple of picnic benches uh backstage because that's <laughs> that's the done thing <laughs> it's just it is what it is uh, a couple of weeping willows as well because they love to be over the the top of water and um, there's nothing better than seeing a weeping willow that's in the water it's just yeah the reeds and all of of course uh, across here just making it its thing and then putting some rocks and everything around the way uh, here's some more backstage clutter and like i said said like i said <laughs> there's, there's no effort to hide any of this stuff it's all on show um so that's what we're going for here we're not we're not going super safe we're going yeah <laughs> it's there <laughs> and then coming back this way this is now the park area i decided to put the uh, i haven't done them all i need to, i need to tidy up and everything but i decided to put the curbs back on all of the paths uh because it just felt like they needed them um i tend to lay down my paths without curbs so i can do my own thing with them but actually the curbs are fine in this one and this is now looking really really awesome what i've done here is i've I've put the soil and everything around the roots of the trees because grass and everything doesn't grow right up to there. And that just adds that little bit of a little bit of realism. Then I've put a fence along here because uh, I kind of figured that guests, when they park their cars, would have been cutting along this grass. And so rather than putting a path down, because that's the logical thing to do, uh, they've actually put a fence there to stop people from doing it. So... This is what we've got here, this fence that, that goes along this way. And then it sort of drives you either along this way or into the uh, into the park area this way. So, yeah, I like I like how that's how that's turned out. This flower bed here, uh, this is one of many of this style and it just uses loads of different things. Uh, there's a creeper ivy i think this is called um and there's roses and there's all sorts of stuff in here lots of color lots of variation this looks unkempt but it's not it's wild and that's the difference that we're going for here we're not going for these beautifully pruned um flower beds and stuff we're going for wild but well kept so that's what we're going for here uh, and likewise along with all of here as well this you know we, you come into a garden so you expect to see plants and foliage and then i've just done some more here mixed up the trees that we're seeing so this is a mixture of uh, beech and elms and pines and i think there's a couple of oaks and then of course a cypress in here so just mixing up everything that you would that you would typically see just to give it a bit of a bit of variation and then coming over this way similar flower bed here uh, it's just really lovely it's just nice to interact with, quite tall, but as I said, it's well kept, but overgrown, if you see what I mean. <laughs> then the pathway and everything continues on down this way. And then we've just got an entrance here. that says another Tignani Gardens uh, sign, and then just some more education pieces with some more benches, and then some more backstage. So it's more backstage stuff, <laughs> stuff going on. Then I have also done the front entrance here. So I've put some roundabouts and whatever in. Again, I've pulled these off of the workshop. Um, I should definitely try and find out who these are. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find out in time of this episode going out. I'll see what I can do. Um, but these are awesome. And there's loads of like British road signs and stuff that, that are available on the workshop. So this has worked out quite nicely. And then just comes into this bit. Ignore the left-hand side. It's not done. Uh, it's not even started. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and then I've just tidied up the car park all along here. And then this brings us back to where we started 
right back here to the disabled to the disabled parking so guys thank you so much for getting to the end of this video uh, please let me know what you think because I don't know what I'm doing um, and I don't even know if this has been any good so I'm relying on you telling me you know what to do leave a like leave a comment it's <laughs> all the usual stuff right uh, but we're definitely going to get episode number two uh, because I've got some shots and everything to kit out so guys thank you so much until we speak again please look after yourselves take care now bye bye